Hi, this is a tutorial about using Dynamo within Revit to rename levels. Um, if you've ever had the occasion and you're doing a, a tall building with a lot of levels and you have to rename them, it's kind of a pain in the neck to do it manually. So let's say for whatever reason you, um, you get rid of a, a level, uh, which you always have to be careful about because remember, if stuff is hosted on that level, which it usually always is, that stuff disappears when you get rid of a level. But that's not what this lecture is about. This is about renaming what's left over. So now I want to rename these with these levels which go from 3 to 50 uh, to 2 to 49. And I'm going to show you how to do that using Dynamo. So when you go to the open dialog box of Dynamo, it's a good habit right here to check open and manual execution mode. That sort of disables the running of the code. And uh, if you have a complicated code, it could wreak havoc if it, if it opens up and, and starts to function if you haven't hooked it up properly. So I'm going to do that and open it up. And show my windows side by side. So remember now we've got 3 through 50. and um, I, tr I tried to make this as simple as possible, so there's a little bit of manual renaming that we're going to do, and the rest is going to be automated. And what I mean by that is that um, because of the way that uh, because I didn't want to make this an overwhelmingly large piece of code, I ignored uh, the levels that don't include two digits. Like uh, I, I, I make a habit of because I want them to stack properly in Revit. Of doing them 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3 instead of 1, 2, 3. Um, that makes them stack up nicely in the browser. Uh, you can do that in Dynamo, but let's keep it simple for now. So this code is, is divided into three parts. There's up on the upper left is harvesting levels. So that, that means you know figuring out what's actually in the file. Next one is renaming those levels. And the next one is uh, is actually do, doing that operation, executing it. And I actually put in a little switch here. I know I told you to disable the code, but this Boolean toggle, uh, it has the input of the renaming. And I've by clicking on false, when I save the code, it won't run it. It won't run this operation of renaming them. When you click it to true, it will actually run it. So we can go over here and sort of set our parameters correctly from the beginning, because you're going to have to customize this. So what we've got here is a node that uh, chooses the category of levels. And then this says, give me all elements of that category. And then I've got a, a node called list slice, which is going to just basically take that list and chop it. And uh, I'm going to run this now. Remember, it won't run the renaming yet because I haven't turned on that Boolean toggle over to the right. I'm just going to run it once. And it's going to, in my watch bar, it's going to give me the levels that are in my drawing. So uh, you see now I've, I've run the code block. Uh, the last time I did this I was going from item 9 to item 39. So these aren't the levels. Remember these are the items that are coming out of, uh, of Revit in order. So I'm going to change that. And you see that the item uh, 9, which ends up when I chop my list in half, that makes it the first item is actually level 11. So I want to grab level 10 also. So I'll make this item 8, run it, and there we go. So it's chopped my level at the, the, eighth, uh, the eighth item. You see I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Those are my, you know, what Revit thinks of as the single digit levels, and the rest are double digit levels. So that's all set. And that gives us a um, list length of 31, which is important. You have to remember that. Then when I come down here to renaming, I'm going to look at what I'm doing. So, uh, so what I'm doing is uh, I, want to, I want to subtract uh, a number from each one of these, right? Because I want number three to be number two, and so on. Okay. So that means that I'm going to start with number ten, and I'm going to want it to be number nine. So I'm going to change this code block to nine. Run it. And you see that it, it does a range from 9 to 39 here, which is 31 items. And that matches the 31 items up here, which is what I wanted to do. And, uh, you know, a 
the range tool is like it gives you a start and an end and it basically produces if I hover over this it produces a list of numbers and then um, and I take that and I turn that into what's called a string which means it's just text and then I have some code blocks here one is is just a text of level in quotes and another one is a space and then this is just a little using a code block to concatenate that text so I take level space and then one of those numbers and I throw it all into a new list and that's how I'm going to rename my levels pretty simple and then I come up to my um, renaming system and you see this over on the right we're, we're orange because right now the boolean toggle has been marked to false and, uh, and this is just a little code block in the funky programming language of Revit. It is, uh, it's sort of, this is the way an if-then statement is written. So uh, I'm just saying, like, if this is false, um, give me B. If it's true, give me A. And that's what outputs. So right now they're all coming out as nulls because this is set to false. When I click this to true, all the data coming into the renaming from A is going to pump into here. And it's going to run in, and uh, and it's going to rename the uh, the levels. And you see that I have a code block in which I just wrote a piece of text that says, that says name. And I'm grabbing the elements, uh, which are the levels, and I'm just saying, what parameter do I want to do? I want to reset. I want to reset the name. So I, that's why I wrote this. And then the values will come in. And then so now I'll run that. I'll click this to true. And then run. And you see what happened over on the side. Um, because we started at 10 and we went down 9, we're going to have to do some renaming here. And I, I just usually, because there's only 10 of them, I come back in and I redo this manually. I didn't want to do a stack of 50 of them because it's agonizingly slow. And uh, so you'll go up through this, through this list uh, and ultimately this will go to 5, 6, 7, 8. And then you can make this one 0, 09, and your list will be renamed. So that's it, and I hope you enjoyed this lecture.